And I'm here with Mr. J. Anthony Brown. Uh, yeah, you got me all shook up. You know, you don't get to me. She cussed me out, so you're, you're in good company, man. You're in good company. I mean, how many times are you going to get to meet the executive of a Black Network? It's not it's not but like two of them. We go way back. I almost ran over in a car in Atlanta, but that's a whole different story. If you ask us, she'll tell you about it, but don't 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 bring it up. It's a whole We keep it hush hush. <laughs> so I want to talk to you about TV One because we're celebrating the fall lineup and everything else, and they got, you know, new shows and everything. and. I just worked on a show yesterday called Way Black Wind, where they do, you know, it's kind of like a spoof on uh, Unsung, where we came up with uh, fictitious characters. I played this character called Larry White, is Barry White's unsung brother, you know, that never got his due. So we finished taping the rest of it tomorrow. And I'm interested in trying to do like a late night news comedy type twist show that we're working on. So that's what TV One's all about. I want to see that. Man. <laughs> I want to see that. I want to see some more news. I mean, I mean, you know, we don't have many faces on the a, on a cable news news or network news and I always feel like our voices aren't being heard and our perspective is always ignored. You know, working on the Tom Jordan show, you know, for about the last 13, 14 years, which is where you hear some black stories in the Black America web, which is what TV One does. So connecting those things together and maybe using the, the Tom Jordan show to drive people to TV One, it's a good marriage. And basically what we've been doing, we've done the Sky Shows, and if you go on t TV One, you see the Sky Shows, that's where uh, which is where we went around the country, and we can drive that traffic together. It makes a good marriage, you know. How can we help TV One as a community? Like uh, we got all these viewers out here that that may not be tuning in in the numbers that TV One need. What do you? I mean, you think that this new lineup of programming well, is going to be what's going to get people to like come there and the numbers that we need for TV One to grow? One of the things that TV One has done is gotten past the video age. You know, where we were just constantly showing videos, videos. The videos were good because we didn't have. The money. I'm saying we like I own a network anyway, but they didn't have the money or the wherewithal to do that. But now producing new programs that people are programs that people are looking forward to seeing, such as uh, Unsung and Black in the Day news shows and in being up on news shows, stuff like this, events like this where you can see it and get it right to the people right away. It's going to be much more better for uh, for the TV One viewer. It's just okay. Now we got content. Now they're putting content together with something there and creating program that people are interested in seeing. Well, well, well tell, tell, you, tell you people, because I know you're on the radio, you might be on Twitter or something else. Where can people just follow you when they're not tuning into you on the well, you Tom Jordan? LA, if you make a chance to make your way to L.A., I have a comedy club here. It's called The J-Spot. It's at 5581 West Manchester Avenue. Or you can hit me at The J-Spot. Or you can hit me up on jandybrown.com. And I also have a website called legahater.com. <laughs> <laughs> we we gonna put that on the, the title. It's called LakeAhaterCentral.com, and we're growing. It's only it's only two of us in LA right now, but we're growing. All right. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Thank you so much. Man. All right.